Okay, you can see here we have some veiny material. It's cream of banana. We also have uh, some sink cutouts, which I put some scores in with the table saw. What we're gonna end up doing is actually doing a vein match out of cream of banana, and then lining up the scores from each three pieces uh, to get them together and show how that comes together. So what we have here, this is our EOS program. This allows us to take pictures remotely. Uh, obviously the camera is mounted on the ceiling so we can't actually take a picture with the camera. So what we're gonna do is snap a picture. It's going to load into the EOS program. You see loading here. Uh, what it's doing right now is actually calibrating the image so that it's the proper size for this table. Once that is done, we'll actually come here and save that file. It'll give it a timestamp. Uh, it should be at 3.02. Uh, then we'll come into Robowise, actually open that picture, uh, which is in the process image folder, 3.02 timestamp. We're then going to open up a file that I've set up for this with a small L shape and uh, three pieces with some interesting seams. So what we'll do is we'll actually take these pieces and move them onto the slab. virtual layout window open now so it's actually going to show us what we're doing as we're doing it. Let's see here. Looks like a good spot. Rotate this piece as well. So keep the veiny portion of this material in the seams for our demonstration. So let's move this over here. Get this out of the way. Oh, I almost dropped it in a great spot. Let's uh, make some adjustments here. I'm making very small adjustments here just to try and line this up perfectly. I'm actually going to move this piece a little bit. This one I think I did too far here as well. Back to this. And actually I'm pretty satisfied with that. This material has a lot of veining in it. Um, you're never probably going to get that exact match unless you have book match slabs. We have to remember that this is coming out of one piece, so uh, as good as you can, when you're actually zoomed out, you can see that it actually flows pretty well together. So what we'll do next is actually grab these pieces. I'm going to move them up individually just into their area so we can get a nice close look when we actually get to them. Uh, let's see, this one here. button and move in here. We'll get this zoomed in nice and close as well so we can see where those scores actually are in the material. Now what we'll do is actually move this piece, try and get that middle line centered. That actually looks pretty good. Rotate this one, get it squared out. That looks pretty good as well. Let's move this one. Is pretty close as well. This looks like it may be off a little bit here, but I'm going to go ahead and trust it. Um, it looks pretty good by eye. So, so now what we'll do is, now that we've got all our pieces laid out, we're going to save this file. I'm going to save it right to uh, my uh, my Flow Network, which is this 
this uh, one here. It's gonna give it a timestamp of 302. So we already have three files in there. This one's gonna be 302 and go on the flow now. So I'll save that, take a second. We're on a wireless connection here, so. Then what we're gonna do is actually come over to our flow computer. Uh, this is the flow cut, so I'm gonna open up the flow path. Uh, let's go and open. We're gonna open that 302 DXF. Okay, we're gonna select our pieces here. Okay, so you can see we have the two portions of that L shape and then these three here. Uh, I'm gonna give it, uh, we're varying material here, so I'm gonna keep it slow at 60. Um, and then we got we gotta do is set up our lead-ins and lead-outs. And I need to Adjustment here, we need the one third line. That'll work. That one. That one. That one. And we'll actually path these. And we want to stick to the right. Okay, now that our pathing's done, we're gonna export that file, just like you normally would. We'll leave it as 302. And what we'll do is go into the flow cut program. Go back here from this last job. We're gonna go and actually open that 302 file. Okay, so we have our pieces there. We have one and a quarter inch thickness. Um, leaving it as a dark color again, uh, we're bearing material here, so we wanna make sure that uh, we're not cutting too fast. Um, we'll actually open this. Uh, we're going to start on low pressure. I'm going to turn my pump on. And then uh, we're going to get ready to cut here. You want to shoot.
pick up the pieces. We'll see, uh, see what we end up with. Got that hammer. Okay, so you can see that it actually turned out the way we wanted it. I'm gonna hand off the camera to Leo here and then uh, grab the computer so we can actually see. It went to sleep, so it's gonna need one second here, but come around this way and you can see that the way that the seam is actually ended up uh, exactly how we planned it this area coming through here that area up top uh, this doesn't line up which we see there um, we see everything else coming through